个啡色嘅盘究竟系乜嘢？大家又估唔估到呢？佢就系用 3D 打印出嚟嘅人工珊瑚蕉盘，俾碎落嘅珊瑚依附生长，系由港大太古海洋科学研究所同建筑学院合作做紧嘅复育珊瑚计划。就係、是、有紅潮啦，同埋有一個叫做 mass mortality event， 就令到珊瑚咧好大規模咁樣受損害。咁所以當時我哋就諗到，既然係一個咁唔理想嘅環境，喺咁多沙地嘅情況之下咧，其實我哋都好難繼續做珊瑚復育呢一件事。咁所以就萌生咗呢個 idea， 就係去想用 reef tiles 去幫助珊瑚重新翻翻嚟嘅。I thought to myself, what if we could create a new hard bottom on the sea floor, much like you would tile. Your bathroom or kitchen、uh, with nice tiles. What if we could tile the seabed and then use that hard structure as a place to attach corals? And that's how the idea was born. 由于香港海底珊瑚化嘅情况越嚟越严重，加上二零一五年嗰阵出现珊瑚白化同埋局部死亡事件，令到香港嘅珊瑚更加难依附喺一啲结构上面成长。所以就諗出用 3D 打印製造人工招盤嘅呢個方法啦。咁呢個咧就叫做六角珊瑚，叫做 a c o p r a 啦。咁顧名思義，其實佢生咧就生到好似一個六角咁樣嘅。咁佢有嗰種 structural complex 個位咧，就係其實好多小人嘅海洋生物都好中意住入去嘅。咁亦都係喺全球嚟講啦，如果做珊瑚復育嘅話咧。通常都係中意做呢個品種嘅，就係、是、因為佢生得好快，而且佢可以提供到好大規模嘅棲息地係俾其他嘅海洋生物。咁一般嚟講咧，其實 marine biologist 做 restoration 嘅時候，好多時以前都係會沿用一啲建築嘅物料啦，譬如係一啲石磚咁樣。咁用呢一個物料嘅其中一個問題就係因為佢哋冇辦法去提供一個真係穩定性嘅結構，咁所以呢，我哋就諗到要用 3D printing， 唔單止佢可以提供一個比較相對地大同埋重，而且係完全係 hundred percent environmentally friendly 嘅 material 嚟嘅。So currently all the tiles we printed 128 uh, were deployed in July this year in、uh, Hong Kong waters. 3D 打印可以製造好多唔同嘅形狀，建築學院嘅教授亦都製造過好多唔同嘅版本，但係點解最後會係呢一個形狀嘅呢 t h e r e s a lot of logic implemented to the shape. So first of all, the overall shape is a hexagon, just because we wanted to make sure that when divers are going to take it underwater, it's going to be really easy to assemble. So we didn't want to create a very complicated modular system. 珊瑚招盘提供嘅结构可以俾珊瑚碎片依附生长，同时珊瑚招盘可以减少沉积物嘅堆积，减少对珊瑚嘅威胁。依家打印出嚟嘅招盘都系放咗喺海下湾海岸公园嘅海底，大约占地四十平方米。礁石嘅成分物料咧就比传统嘅混凝土同埋金属材料咧更加环保，酸碱度咧亦都会更加适合生物成长。诶，呢部机咧系爱嚟捞嗰啲泥嘅。咁啊撈完之後咧，就會裝落呢支桶上面啦。然後我哋就會將呢支桶啊換上去只機械臂，咁我哋就可以攞嚟 print 嘅。之後機械臂就會根據編好咗嘅程式打印珊瑚招盤嘅底盤同埋形狀，再等佢自然風乾、抽走水分，然後就可以放個盤入個窯爐，以攝氏一千一百二十五度嘅高温燒成陶瓷，燒完就可以用得㗎啦。咁我哋另外仲有啲腳啦。咁我哋燒完啲 t i l 之後，將啲腳裝上去，咁呢個就係一個完成品啦。依家呢一個項目都係好細規模嘅試驗階段啦。咁我哋之後都希望，如果我哋呢一個項目係可以攞到一個成功嘅結果嘅話，都希望可以係將佢 upscale， 甚至話香港嘅唔同地方實行呢一個項目嘅。